Well, hello. Hello and hello. This is Brother West. Uh, coming back to you again. Just left the gym. And uh, like on yesterday, like on yesterday, um, usually when I'm exercising and when I'm uh, running, I meditate a lot. And, 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 and God speaks to my heart a lot. And I, he teaches me a lot of examples of situations and things in life. And um, he gave me all kind of messages. And uh, one of the things that I want to follow up on that I, that I talked about today about it being a test and don't move. And basically what's going on is that the enemy is trying to provoke you. The enemy is trying to provoke you. When I use the example of Moses and there were two things that were talking to Moses, God and the people, God and the frustration of the people. And Moses made the mistake and allowed the frustration of the people to become greater than, to, than the instructions of God. And it caused him to miss the mark. It caused him to miss his promised land. And one of the things that I want to uh, say to you today, don't allow frustration and things speak to you, speak to your heart, speak to your mind. And, and, and cause you to, to, to not hear God's instructions concerning your life. One thing that I know, one thing that I understand is that you see me, many of you see me every day and I'm smiling. It seems like I'm so happy, which I am. But oftentimes, and even God blesses me a lot. God blesses me, my body. God blesses my family. God blesses me financially. God blesses me. Uh, however, in the midst of God blessing me, there's a mental battle. There's an emotional battle. Oftentimes within, I'm fighting them, dealing with things, seeking God on things that afflict me. Just like, for an example, this morning. This morning, and I woke up, and it's like a demon or something jumped on me. Jumped on me and trying to ride me and make me feel a certain kind of way. When... Even the scripture where, where God gave, I taught even on yesterday how the enemy would come through your dreams and give you a bad dream and he wants you to tell it. And so, and see, this is the enemy. The enemy is always fighting. But I do realize that our weapons of warfare are not carnal. This is not a physical fight. And so oftentimes, you know, I talk to God and I talk to myself to realize and understand what's taking place. And so... Um, I just want to say, don't allow things, emotions, and, and, and situations to cause you to become frustrated and not hear God. Two things that the enemy attack. He's going to attack your ears and your eyes. He's going to attack what you see, and he's going to attack what you hear. And what he's going to do, he's going to use those two things to play with your emotions by putting things in your view, by putting things in your imagination, by making you think you hear certain things, but usually could probably from your own spirit. And so this is the warfare. It's between your ears. Even Paul said that he realized in his flesh there's a new war. And this war is warring against his mind. It's, it's a mind fight. And oftentimes, if you're not careful, the enemy will take, you, take your mind away if you don't know what he's doing, and he's going to use your emotions. He's going to use your anger. You know, yeah. Especially when you've been through stuff, when you've been frustrated, when you've been um, betrayed, when you've been hurt, uh, you, when you've been all of those things, he's going to try to speak to those things in your mind and, and, and become the judge during execution and make you lash out at everybody to make you act ugly. To make you act mean. Make you act all of that. Now, so you're supposed to represent Christ now. But you're acting all this way. And you're losing your tough mind. And see, what the enemy, it doesn't want to make you look like a fool. When it comes down to when you profess Jesus as Lord, he wants to, your testimony, he wants to make you even not believe what you believe. He's after your God. He's after your faith. He's after your belief. And so that's why you have to rise up above those feelings. It's not easy. It's not easy. When, you know, you could be in fire. And, and, and you told, and you're told to trust God. Now, how are you going to trust God when you got fire burning in your hand? Naturally, so you're going to try to get that fire out. It takes faith and it takes trust 
It takes time to get to a place where you ignore the fire and create your own fire and trust God. And just know that most of the battles that you fight in your mind, it's made up. They're made up. They are made up. The enemy has indoctrinated your ears. The enemy has indoctrinated your emotions to make you think and make you believe a certain way. And oftentimes, and one of the things that the enemy will do, when you've been hurt in a certain way, he will send others who's hurt the same way to, to solidify, to validate your hurt. The enemy will validate your hurt. He will invalidate your, uh, your your bitterness to make you believe a lie and make you push everything that's good from around you and everything that's bad, embrace it to you. Devil's a lie, ain't he? He's a trickster. But just know, guard your ears and your eyes. Guard your ears and your eyes because... It's very important because the enemy, he's going to use those. He's going to use those things against you. Even with me, you know, I've been rejected. I, there's a lot of things that, like others, been been through a lot. Lost my mother. Next year, lost my sister. Lost my niece. Um, son was paralyzed. Nephew lost my nephew. All this kind of stuff. But yet, and still, and see the purpose of it, of going through all that, the enemy will try to flip it and flip all this bad stuff in my life and make me want to explode. Make me want to just do something. Make me want to put my hands on something. See, but I realize that's the devil. I realize the enemy. And so what I do, even when I get frustrated and upset and angry, I go to God, I go work out, I pray, I sing. And I teach God to give me the strength to learn how to filter. The filter the pain. The filter the, the, the rejection. The filter the hurt. It takes God. It takes God. Is that all right? God bless you.